Now, let's talk about how to find the right component for what you want to create. How do we learn more about how to use AMP components like AMP Image and AMP YouTube? How do we figure out which component we need for a given task? We use the documentation. To develop AMP sites effectively, it's important to learn how to navigate the AMP documentation. Our next task will be to add a collection of images of cheese bike products for our users to scroll through. Sometimes this is called an image slider or an image carousel. Fortunately, AMP has a component called AMP Carousel for just this purpose. AMP Carousel isn't the built-in component, so you need to add its scripts in the head of your page. The components we've used so far have been relatively simple, but for AMP Carousel, we'll need to use the documentation. When we look at the documentation for AMP Carousel, we will look for answers to questions like these. What does this component do? How do I use this component? How can I customize this component with attributes? How do I style this component? Does this component need its own script tag? What layouts does this component support? Here's a screenshot of the documentation for AMP Carousel. In the documentation for any AMP component, you will look for items like description, for information on what the component does, behavior, for how the component works, attributes, for how to customize the component, styling, for how to style the component, or how to use CSS to alter its appearance, required script, the script tag that needs to be added to the head to make the component work, and supported layouts, which tells you which layout types are valid for this component. Let's look at an example of AMP Carousel from the documentation. The carousel in this example contains three images for users to slide through. There are three categories of attributes associated with AMP Carousel. First of all, attributes that are common to all HTML elements, like ID. These probably won't get mentioned in the documentation as they're just part of HTML. Second, attributes that are common to all AMP components. For example, width, height, and layout. These may not get mentioned either. And finally, attributes that are unique to the component in question. For example, type. These are probably what you'll be looking for for real. For AMP Carousel, the valid inputs for type include slides and carousel. This means if you don't specify a type at all, the default will be carousel. Now, let's do exercise five, in which we'll create the image slideshow. In this exercise, we'll add a carousel of images to our site, and we'll also get to practice using the AMP documentation. First, let's review how to use glitch assets. You'll recall that glitch keeps your images in a folder named assets. To view all the images in your project, click the Assets entry in the list of files on the left-hand side of the Glitch Editor. To get the link to any single image, select that image from the list of assets on the right-hand side of your screen. Click the Copy button next to the URL in the pop-up that appears. This will give you the link to that image, and you can now use that same link anywhere you need to use that image. Now, let's make this carousel. We'll add it under the P class equals main text element just above the YouTube video. Set the layout attribute of the carousel to responsive. Set the type attribute of the carousel to slides. And add three images to the carousel, cheddarchaser.jpg, cheese.jpg, and mouse.jpg. Make the carousel loop back to the beginning if a user tries to advance beyond the last slide. Give the carousel a width of 412 and a height of 309. Give each image that same width and height, 412 and 309. Now pause the video and try this out. Your solution should look something like this. There's the AMP carousel, there's the width and height, the layout is responsive, the type is slides, and notice that we added a loop attribute. We found that in the documentation. Since AMP Carousel is an extended component, we need to include the AMP Carousel script in the head. This was also in the documentation.